Good morning, Ute Industry. It is Tamara here. It's so lovely to see all of your faces. It feels like there's a real positivity in the air at the moment, which is so infectious and I am so excited for. Um, but hey, let's face it, because 2021, as we know, has been such a stressful year. Um, so what we're here to do today is we're here to help you avoid the overwhelm that can be Christmas because guess what? There is just 10 weeks, oh my God, until Christmas. So um, I am joined today by the gorgeous Vanessa McDonald from Salon Marketing Creative. And we are here to spread all of the Christmas cheer to get your little butts into gear so that you are super, super prepared so that you can have effortless and profit packed Christmas campaigns that I know you're going to love because I absolutely love everything that Vanessa does because it just takes the guesswork out of how to do it all for you. So Vanessa, welcome. Thank you, Tamara. Thanks for having me. I'm very excited to be here. I love Christmas time for beauty salons because it's just, you know, bumper trade time and uh, so much opportunity, so much opportunity. Yeah, totally. And you know what, when we talk about opportunity, New South Wales has just opened over here in Australia. Victoria is about to open. All of the other states are bumping and bustling and it just feels, you know, I th like we're so ready to open, you know, so I am yeah. so excited. But to be honest, what I have seen in our industry, and I see it pretty much every single year, is unfortunately a huge lack of preparation when it comes to Christmas and, and planning all of the Christmas kind of seasons and offers and all of the thing. And we get to this last minute and we go, oh, my goodness, I haven't done anything and I'm starting to see the Maya windows come up and now I need to kind of scramble and get all, all of my things done. So I wanted to have a chat with you today to find out exactly how we can not do that. Um, and you're also going to touch base on how you can create an offer. But I think sometimes we associate offer with discount and price slashing, which both you and I are not huge fans of. We want profitable businesses. Um, so I'd love you to kind of take it away for us today and kick it off and show us what you've got. Yeah, fantastic. I've, I've prepared a slide deck so that just to make sure that I leave no stone unturned and uh, whoever you know, invest a little bit of time in watching this today can go away with at least a place to get started 10 weeks out. So even though it's 10 weeks out from Christmas, it really is only four weeks out from when you should be prepared for your Christmas marketing. Yeah. So we can take that 10 weeks and bring it back to four at the absolute minimum or maximum, I should say, six weeks. Mm. So for anybody who wants to maximize their Christmas trade this year, this is the perfect time to do it and just relax into it and have perhaps a different experience than you've had in previous years. So, all right, I will get stuck in. Thank you very much. And here we go. All right, we're going to focus on gift vouchers today because that is the biggest opportunity for our industry by far. Whenever we have, we see the beautiful limited edition Christmas gift packs come out from the you know amazing brands that are available, skincare brands that are available through uh, salons, spas, and clinics worldwide, but you know here in Australia. They sell out pretty quickly and gift vouchers tends to be, I'd love to see gift vouchers sell in the same way as those Christmas packs perform in the clinic. So at SMC, we have four main focuses that we, we look at for salons to make money at Christmas time. And today, like I said, we're going to hone in on gift vouchers, but those limited edition Christmas packs snap them up as soon as they're available. They're a great opportunity to increase your retail business and also retailing in general because you we do see salons every year sell out of those pretty quickly. So have just start to think about what can I what plan can I have in place so that I maximize the retail opportunity, increase average client spend during this you know mega trade period where I'm seeing lots of clients for service appointments. Perhaps you could consider putting together personalized Christmas packs. And Christmas is also November and December, the best time to ask for referrals. And so if you have a referral program in place, 
For example, something simple where you hand out a voucher to your clients to ask them to pass that on to family and friends, where they're going to be seeing more of those people during the months of November and December. So it makes sense to start that refer referral activity happening again or happening at this time of the year. Quickly, these are my children. <laughs> <laughs> they may or may not be quiet. If then, if they, if they're good little, a good little boy and girl, they're asleep. And they stay asleep where everything's great. If not, there might be a few barks, but I will tend to that. <laughs> and everyone knows my cat's definitely going to interrupt us, so we're fine. <laughs> yeah. So a little bit about me for anyone who doesn't know me. I've been in our industry now for twenty years, always in a sales and marketing. Uh, capacity. I've worked for some pretty fantastic brands like Dermalogica and the International Dermal Institute, Shortcut Salon Software, Professional Beauty Solutions. And I'm absolutely addicted to anything to do with beauty and skin. And that's what we're all about at SMC. We're retention experts and we help our clients scale their business through skin treatments and retail sales with a focus on their database, which I always say is the most valuable business asset that you own. And lockdowns have certainly proven that time and time again. So to get started, there are genuine, what I've always seen in the 20 years that I've been uh, working in this industry consistently, it's never changed. There are two types of salon owners. And I'd like to ask everyone watching, just to yourself, which one are you? So the first one, you know, when it comes to marketing, how, you know, how the thought of marketing, how does it make you feel? So for category salon owner number one, usually they can feel a bit lost, stressed, overwhelmed, confused, and tend to procrastinate. And you mentioned that Tamara when you introduced me. That's very, very common. And I would say that is uh, the, the biggest percentage of salon owners out there can probably identify and relate to those feelings when they think about marketing and the, the behaviours that tend to come from feeling that way uh, procrastination is number one but also you know ten, you tend to scramble at the last minute so you might realize oh I've got two weeks to go it's the beginning of November until I should be launching my Christmas marketing camp, um, campaign thinking about my promotions and all of a sudden you're scrambling looking for graphic designers thinking about your offers uh, not sure how to structure uh, your promotions you're not thinking about you're not thinking strategically and in, in the end you you jump into Canva and put together your own graphic design your own artwork and design and it tends to look a little bit DIY and like you said Tamara discounting is usually the easiest go-to for most people in this category and and also just really focusing on the front end of a promotion how many gift vouchers am I going to sell how much money am I going to make as opposed to the front end and the back end so the front end gift voucher sales conversion, but what happens when those people start to come in and redeem their gift vouchers as well? So that's back-end marketing. That's what that's a spin-off to what you've done on the front end. So, you know, rebookings, retailing, referrals, and yeah, that doesn't really tend to get thought about with this type of salon owner. Yeah, retailing. The other one, um, well, I mean, the other salon owner plans in advance. They, they work in advance. They also, uh, you know, they're organised and they, they ensure that their artwork and design is on point with their brand. They think strategically and they focus on both front and back end. And as a result of that, they feel like they're on track. They feel excited, organised. They've got clarity. They don't feel confused and they're proactive. And that's my goal today is to help more people, more salon owners, um, be able to put up their hand and say, I'm in category two now. And it's not very difficult to do. It's You just need to understand how to approach your marketing and also especially when it comes to your database. So most of the money you will make at Christmas, of, of course, there's you know, the online factor, which is getting bigger and bigger every single year and something that it can't be ignored. But for you know the, the bricks and mortar on the ground, suburban beauty salon, family owned and operated, it is your database. It's the clients that are already you're already seeing who uh, know, like, and 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 love you, trust and love you. So it's a time. It's time to be proactive, and it's happening from today. <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, I want to be number two. If I was a salon owner, <laughs> I'd be looking at that going, number two, I want to be organised, I want to be structured, give me all of the things. Give me all of the things, exactly. Clarity, from confusion to clarity. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay, so my question to everybody is, what, what are you going to offer for Christmas marketing and your gift vouchers this year? So I'm going to start the process of getting you ready starting to think about your plan and your goals that you're working towards and also remove that overwhelm, give you some understanding of what to do next, what action to take next. And before I get into sharing those, those tips with you and giving you that structure, let's consider the opportunity that's in front of us. And these stats are brand new. They've just recently been released by Roy Morgan. And it's, a you know, Lots of money that's going to be running through the economy and, you know, $11 billion and the, that's the average household spend for Australia, uh, for the um, entire country. And from the research that I did for this presentation, gift vouchers represents around 19% of mm -hmm. where people are considering you know, spending and what the gifts that they're considering buying for their loved ones. And men are actually for the first year below women when it comes to shopping for gift vouchers. So it's always been um, men are just a little bit above women. So it was 19% and 17%. But for the first time ever, there was a distinct difference that it was the women that were going to be out there buying gift vouchers. So that's something to consider when you're putting together your marketing. Out of all our, uh, all of our states, believe it or not, New South Wales residents are feeling the most generous this year. And their average household spend was well over $900. So for people in Sydney, again, there's a nice piece of that $11 billion pie for you to take a, a chunk of. And uh, yeah, so through having, you know, be, being organised, having a plan, there's no reason why you can't say, give me your $900. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. So um, New South Wales residents are looking to spend twice as much as those living in Western Australia, apparently. Um, so says Roy Morgan, which I found quite surprising considering what's been going on on, the, on this side of the country compared to what's been going on on the other side of the country. So if you're feeling a little bit scared, if you're feeling a little bit uncertain around what you've just lived through in New South Wales or even Victoria, don't worry because people are planning to get out there. The other thing that came through this research was, and this was you know, a consumer survey, is that people are feeling more festive than ever, than previous years. And that's really good too, to get some more dollars in your till. Now, one of the points that I just wanted to get you to think about, I'm not going to get into the detail of, is setting sales targets for your Christmas marketing this year. And you need to think of your business targets and your team targets. So just make a note of that. This is something that I'll be covering in a lot more detail for SMC's Christmas marketing workshop that's coming up on the 1st of November. And uh, I'll be talking about how you can access that workshop at the end of my presentation. But just for now, getting you to think about that. Also, you have a point of sale software program that has this beautiful thing called reports. And as a marketing strategist, I love reports. And it's really easy for you to be able to analyze last year's uh, mark Christmas results, Christmas trade results for gift vouchers. And also look at 2019 because the difference between 2019 and 2020 is gonna, going to be different or perhaps not. We have got some of our clients that had a, a, you know, a bumper Christmas last year compared to 2019, despite everything that went down in the world. So that can be really interesting to take a look at. And you do learn a lot about your business when you look at your reports. So what you, wanna, what you want to ascertain is your average voucher spend. And the way that you can do that is look at your total dollars and divide it by how many vouchers that you sold from whenever you started to focus on your Christmas marketing last year. So that is also something that you can do to start to get, you know, ahead of, ahead of yourself and to decide on what your targets are going to be for this year. Just keep them realistic, increasing, them, increasing your average voucher spend and the number of vouchers by 10% is, is, is a good place to start. Okay. So offer ideas and structure. 
I think this is where a lot of salon owners tend to struggle. Wouldn't you agree, Tamara, when it comes to actually putting together? Yeah, absolutely. Packages? Absolutely. Yeah. So monetary gift vouchers has has shown us at SMC, especially over the last four or five years, that there are more clients of salons that prefer just to buy a monetary voucher to give the person they're gifting their, the gift voucher to complete flexibility on what it is that they want to experience at the clinic. So there definitely has been um, a shift that we've noticed when previous years, it's all been about Christmas packages. However, all clinics are different and you know your business. And if you look at your reports, if you look at the, the performance of previous promotions, um, take, a, take a look back historically, what, what type of gift voucher your clients have preferred? Is it monetary? Or is it a package? And the two, it seems what we see, we see is if a salon um, has a clientele that likes to buy experiences, then the monetary gift vouchers are significantly lower and vice versa. Okay. So again, that's just something to think about. The other thing to think about is your campaign objectives. So for what we're talking about today with gift vouchers, we're looking at increasing as our primary objective, your, your average client spend, but there are some pretty cool secondary, secondary objectives that having a well-rounded, structured, strategic Christmas gift voucher um, uh, promotion in place can also bring to your business. And again, these are some of the points that I'll be going into a lot more detail during our Christmas marketing workshop. So when it comes to, I, I guess, some core considerations, when you're structuring and putting together your packages, if that is something that you're planning on doing, and I'm going to be giving everybody visual, a visual, visual examples of what that could look like and some ideas, but predominantly when it comes to the back end as opposed to the front end, where you make most of your money it's in skin, facials and skin treatments, as opposed to massage, for example. So always make sure that your vouchers, your, your packages include a skin, some type of skin or facial focus, because that's also going to lead to prescribing, talking to someone about their skin and prescribing products. So that's really important. It's also important to put together packages that appeal to clients to book in for themselves, not just to purchase for gift vouchers. So if Christmas and gift vouchers is your, your main focus with your marketing campaign for from say 15th of November to the end of December or Christmas day, wouldn't it be wonderful if you were selling gift vouchers and getting your clients as a result? But imagine if your clients were also booking themselves in just to have those packages to experience it for themselves. And, and, and with that particular goal, it's important to also consider your call to actions. And if you have a promotion running for a limited edition Christmas package with, you know, your main objective is to sell gift vouchers, but wouldn't it, and, but if you'd like your clients to book in as well, you need to have a call to action that says, book this for yourself or purchase it as a gift voucher. And a lot of salons miss that. So consumers can miss the point you're trying to make, which is, hey, this would be beautiful for you too. And what's great about seeing clients book in for those packages rather than just selling them as gift vouchers is they've sampled and experienced the actual treatment itself. And now they can start to think about other people that they'd like to gift it to. So it's um, it's definitely appealing to clients it can be great for the business they're more likely to tell their friends about it as well and it's important that the packages includes treatments that anyone can have that people can instantly understand that feels it has to have an element of relaxation because it needs to be gift appealing 
but also it doesn't make sense to, to have a package that has microdermabrasion or, has, or a package that might have a lymphatic, a lymphatic facial uh, because it's not for everybody. It's not appealing to the masses. So that's something else that you can consider. Yeah, instant glow results. People would love to give re relaxation and instant glow results. So any skin off the street can have the facials or the treatments that are included in your Christmas packages. That's really important as well. It needs to be effortless to transition people to the next treatment or booking and also retail sales. And consider having some type of theme. And I'm going to give you some examples of themes so that people can imagine you know, what the treatment, what the, the package, the experience is going to feel like. Okay, it needs to represent really great value as well as being appealing to give as a gift. So I'm buying a gift for my mum and I'm reading the inclusions and it just sounds like something that she would love, exactly what she needs. If it says microdermabrasion, and I've seen plenty of salons include microdermabrasion in Christmas packages, it just doesn't have the same appeal as, say, um, the ultimate rejuvenation facial or the ultimate revitalizing facial or instant glow facial so something that's a little bit more mainstream and it has a really nice feel to it as well so one of the questions I get asked all the time is well how many packages should I offer and this is a really interesting question if you have too many people get confused and overwhelmed especially men mm -hmm. uh, if you have too few you could be you know, costing yourself sales. So let's talk a little bit about that. So here is my first visual example. This is one of the marketing campaign sets that is available through our website, smcagency.com.au. And um, it's under our DIY services for Christmas marketing. And this is, this is an example of having one package, a value-added package, and also another offer which is focusing on monetary gift vouchers. So this would be a great structure for anyone who, has, who discovers through their reports that their clients seem to prefer to buy monetary gift vouchers, okay? And you'll notice that we have a value add where when, when clients spend a certain amount on Christmas gift vouchers, they will receive a voucher for free, which they can either re-gift to someone else or use for themselves. So the goal here is to, to look at, well, what was my average voucher spend last year and how much do I want to increase that by this year and how much am I willing to give in extra value to get that conversion? So what we have here is $300 and... $50. So that is not even 20% that they're actually, you're actually giving to encourage someone to perhaps buy two vouchers instead of one. Okay. Or if they're looking at spending 250 or 200, then you'd have this, this um, strategy to, to upsell them to a higher spend on the day when they're there, which is really powerful for the team. But notice how there's just one gift voucher package and um, it's called the Ultimate Glow Package. So that's nice in general for anybody. It includes an Ultimate Glow Facial. It's just a promotional facial treatment that the team um, you know, can contribute to, to working out what are the protocols going to be in that treatment. It might be a 45-minute skin treatment, but we also have a little bit of relaxation in there to make it gift appealing. LED light therapy is a wonderful modality for, you know, sending someone away with glowing skin and also getting a more advanced um, introduction to professional skin treatments. And you have that sense of well-being and total relaxation after an LED. So it's a really nice connect to everything else. We've got a little bit of extra value laid in here with a collagen eye mask as well. Now, when it comes to setting the price, what you, if, you, if you are someone who, who sells a lot of monetary gift vouchers but likes the idea of having one limited edition package that you know, a man could just walk in off the street and go, I'll take that. <laughs> That's easy. $179, yep, valued at $255, that'll do her. That's perfect. Uh, 
so whatever this price is going to be, what it, when you're deciding what the price should be, look at your average voucher spend for last year. Let's say it was around $140 or $150, and then you want to increase that by, say, 20%. That would be a good starting point, or you might want to increase it by 10%. So when it comes to pricing, that's, that's a... That's a little tip that I can pass on today. Notice here how we've got the perfect gift voucher experience, but also too, it's something that clients could book in for themselves. Okay. Here's another example of uh, one of our sets that we um, have made available for salon owners this year to be able to purchase and um, make putting together their Christmas marketing super easy. Again, we have. Um, get that Christmas glow is the message relax and glow ritual package it's appealing for clients to book in for themselves it's a great gift idea we've made that really clear by adding that call to um, that call out and again we have a feature for monetary gift vouchers so gift vouchers can also be purchased for any monetary value this is what you'll receive when you spend 199 so we've got that twofold uh, marketing strategy laid into the one promotion now, when it comes to, you know, why would I have only one gift voucher package? That would be for clinics who predominantly sell monetary vouchers, okay? But want to offer something to clients to book in for themselves, which is going to help to convert, say, beauty clients into skin during November, December. Um, and are also looking at having one easy choice when it comes to vouchers to a, um, a limited edition Christmas package. This was our number one selling set last year. It, it was by far the most popular and it has three packages. So why would you have three packages? Well, choice of three in marketing has been proven to convert better than any other number when you're giving, when you're giving consumers access to, to choice. By at, we've tested it and by adding a fourth, we did see conversion go down compared to three. And also people tend to go for the middle offer. And that's a really great opportunity for clinics to be able to, to, to price that middle offer at the price point that they're trying to achieve um, to have that increase in voucher spend from the year before to make their 2021 targets. But also if you're a salon who you know through by investigation and looking at your reports that your clients prefer treatments, to purchase gift vouchers in treatment form as opposed to a dollar amount and they love packages, then this would be the set for you. Okay, again, these are value-added packages. We've got uh, the Glow Experience, the Revitalize Experience, the Rejuvenate Experience. They include relaxation. They're the type of um, treatment packages that your clients could book in for themselves or purchase as gift vouchers as well. And that's one of the reasons we refer to them as Christmas packages rather than just Christmas gift voucher packages. Here's another example of having a choice of three and notice that the, the promotion in the middle or the offer in the middle is the most um, visual, like it visually pops off the page. That's to attract the eye straight in the middle there. So that, um, the, the price of that is a, a, you know, a position where that's what we want to achieve when it comes to our average voucher um, uh, spend this year. But also to, we've laid in some, like a bonus to encourage uh, salon clients to purchase either package two or package three, which have that higher price point by giving them a gift with package or a gift with purchase which is a candle, one of the beautiful g &M candles. So the, the value add offer is saying that when you purchase either the Revitalize or the Rejuvenate experience, you'll also get a candle to take home. So that's a, that's a marketing strategy that, or a tactic that you, you could consider layering in uh, and featuring on your Christmas marketing this year, which gives the team, again, something that they can suggest. So if they have someone who is spending looking to spend $100 on monetary gift vouchers, you could talk about, we've got this beautiful package, the Revitalize experience, it is $179, but you also receive a, a candle valued at $69 as well. So it's just a way of being able to upsell and, 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 and reach, those, reach those all important sales targets. 
Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to present today for ideas on packages and whether or not to offer one or two. And uh, you would have probably also noticed with the um, choice of three, we didn't have a, an actual offer for monetary vouchers. In fact, I'll go back and I'll show you that. But what we did, um, we, we feature is um, a call out that says, well, if you still can't decide, we have got monetary gift vouchers available. And that's important to communicate that when people receive your marketing, they see the packages and they don't assume that's all they've got. So we're making sure that we do have more for you and you can have the flexibility to purchase a voucher for any amount so that your loved one can decide what they would like on the day when they come back in, when they, when they book in for their, their treatment. Yeah. Monetary gift vouchers, this is by far our most successful promotion. It's available for, for purchase as well. And this is a really great way of, it works, in, it works twofold. So clients will purchase these vouchers for themselves to get extra value for their own services. And they'll purchase the vouchers for family, friends, loved ones and work colleagues. And you can see here, it's all about getting extra, an extra 25% value when you purchase a gift voucher for someone special this, this Christmas, starting from $50. Now, if you find that your average gift voucher spend last year was $150, you wouldn't start this promotion at $50. Okay, you might start it at 100, but you definitely wouldn't start it at 50. And that's something again, that you can ascertain from your report. So you might need to make some adjustments on the the suggested spends here, but it's a really simple promotion if you're selling gift vouchers online. Usually uh, most online gift voucher platforms will allow you to add a discount or to value add um, a percentage amount. It's, you can't, it's not as, it's, it, it gets a little bit trickier when you're selling packages to have these sorts of promotions online, usually they need to be featured in an actual store, like a physical product when someone's buying a gift voucher. But if you're selling monetary vouchers, that's super simple to sell online and yeah, a discount or value adding. And of course, like you said, tomorrow at the beginning, we love value adding. So you can imagine if someone's purchasing a $200 voucher, they're getting that extra um, $50. I would avoid breaking that up. So I have heard of some clinics that say, okay, so you buy a voucher for, whoops, go back, $200 and then we'll give you a $50 voucher. And that can become really quite chaotic at front desk when you're trying to put together, when you're trying to serve lots of people, high traffic, foot traffic coming through, and it does put stress on front desk. So just keep it really simple. They buy one voucher for X amount, but they get this extra value. And if they're, if they're asking about splitting it up because they want to use it, we'll suggest to them, well, why don't you purchase a second voucher for yourself? And then you'll have some, some extra value that you can spend here in clinic too. So that has proven to be extraordinary. We have... We, we saw one of our SMC Insider members use this strategy for Mother's Day this year, and she did over $17,000 in um, gift voucher sales, and previously she'd only done $500. So it definitely has um, proven to work really, really well. Now, when it comes to putting out a well-rounded marketing campaign, these are the touch points that are essential when you're focusing predominantly on your database you definitely need emails and you need at least three emails to go out over a four to six week period. Six weeks is, a, is the perfect sweet spot when it comes to campaign marketing. Uh, that's what we've, we've found year in, year out. Monthly marketing is always proven to be too much. It starts, it ends. And when it comes to quarterly marketing, it's too long, but six weeks is absolutely perfect. And it also fits in with most clinics average frequency of visit for how often they're seeing their clients. So majority of their existing clients are coming through at least once every six weeks. So they get exposed to the promotion, but through verbal marketing, talking to the team, but also by seeing the, the, the posters up in the clinic as well. They're in your database, you've got their emails. So it makes sense to send out emails. Three over six weeks is great. One to launch the promotion, one mid campaign and one to let your, your clients know that this is gonna end soon. So hurry up and purchase your gift vouchers or make a booking for yourself. 
When it comes to text messages, uh, we like to send up to two text messages for Christmas and uh, usually one at the beginning, a week after the email goes out to launch the promotion and notify your database, your clients that you have this offer on the call to action, sends them to the website, to the promotions page or the Christmas page on the website. And then another text message to go out around two weeks before Christmas, we've seen has proven to convert really well over the years too. Many, many salons, um, find it too hard or you know they just put it in too hard basket to feature their Christmas marketing and what they have on offer on their website either because their, their web developers is difficult to deal with or they see it think it's too expensive they don't know how to do it um, or they're not sure of the graphics that they need to provide I don't know there's lots of reasons but we see some salons they might send out an email one sms and do a lot on social media and that's it but having it on your website is really important and having a dedicated Christmas page for your gift vouchers on your website is really important as well Social media, of course, your stories, Instagram, Facebook, and lots of demonstrations of this is what the experience is going to be like. This is what the treatment room will look like. And, and, and you know, using video alongside graphics that you have created for your, your Christmas gift voucher promotions, as well as going to just sell the sizzle visually on social media. People really love video. Um, we all know that. And your signage. So think about your outdoor signage and obviously your visual merchandising inside as well. So with whatever you're putting out, you just need to consider, does this have too much information on it? Do I need to strip the copy back a little bit just to get people walking in and asking questions? And then the posters I have inside has all the information on it. So yeah, sometimes there can be a little bit like less is more when, with um, signage outside and then more information on the posters inside and that also supports the team to be able to use those touch points as a, a talking point to have those conversations that are going to convert into um, a, a sale or a booking. So when it comes to you know marketing campaigns with a focus on database this is what we consider at SMC as what's absolutely essential and any of our SMC Insider members or clients that have implemented and used all of these touch points year in, year out, have always made their targets and done really well out of their marketing campaigns, especially for Christmas. So don't just do social media, implement all of them. And we've made sure that we've included all of those touch points in our, in our Canva um, packages and our, our marketing campaign sets that have been designed by professional designers in Canva to give um, someone owners complete flexibility to personalise the design around what they want, their treatment menus and the brands that they work with and the price point that they need to send based on this, their, um, their, their targets that they want to achieve. Yeah, so if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed about sending an email, it just comes down to booking some training, watching some videos, um, how to, how to, it's not very difficult to load an email in MailChimp. We have an implementation guide with demonstration videos that clearly shows how to do this step by step. Or just even contacting your chosen point of sale software program if the email marketing um, feature that or platform you use is built into that. Book some training. Um, there's, you know, you can send, if you don't have great conversion with emails, if you find you don't get a lot of people opening your emails, you can send emails via SMS if you use something called a bit.ly link. And again, we have a demonstration video in, in our implementation guide showing clearly how to do that. It's so easy to do. And it's really exciting when you send out your first email via SMS and you start to see the bookings coming in and the, the gift vouchers being sold online, print posters, um, you know, you need your big posters, you need your display sheets, your, your flyers to hand out as well. So every client is being told about uh, what you've got on for Christmas. And yeah, we've already talked a bit about social media and website. Yeah, so we've spoken about that. Now, when it comes to 
putting together profitable gift voucher packages, there are a few things that you need to consider. And I'm definitely not getting into this in too much detail today because it's a major focus for our Christmas marketing workshop that's coming up on Monday, the 1st of November. And we'll be using this spreadsheet. We'll be giving access to everyone who attends that workshop so they have this tool so that they can work out, are my Christmas packages profitable or not? So we need to consider the price we're charging, our cost of goods, um, our fixed costs, our therapist costs, how much time we're giving to the team to perform the treatment, but also turn the room around and have prescription time. Absolutely critical for that, those back-end results for rebooking, for talking to people about, okay, you just had a glow facial. This is where I want to take your skin next. They're talking the client into the future and into their next appointment and also sending them home with to get them started on the right home care regime to keep those instant glow results going. So time is really, really important. And it's the one thing that can bring down the profit of a package. But the baseline we like to work towards is a dollar profit per minute. And it's a little bit of a fine art, but once you've got it and you know how to do it, it's you feel so empowered. And to be able to be seeing that you're selling gift vouchers, and when those vouchers come in, you are making profit. You have money in the bank that you know, when people are actually redeeming them, you know, I've received money for this service that has made me profit. And I know that one of, uh, seemed year in, year out, that buy one voucher, get one free feels really, really good in the beginning and exciting. And there's all this money, but geez, it feels awful when you're actually performing those services and the amount of debt that takes on for a, a, a business and, you know, taking them backwards, it's, it can be quite, um, well, heartbreaking to hear the stories and, and it can it just doesn't set you up to have a, a great new year and going into the next year as well. So so do consider some of that those those points when putting together your your your, your packages to make sure they're profitable. Um, and you've got that sort of baseline that you're working towards now as well. But again, it's something that we'll cover in a lot of detail. Now, when it comes to social media and marketing, you, you know, Christmas in general, just general messaging to consider that you may not have done in the past, but people really want to support salons and small family run businesses at the moment. So, you know, mention that in your social media, talk about the fact there's never been a better time to support family businesses in Australia, because there's so much competition with big online stores and just the whole online world and all the big brands that are out there that are already starting to get pretty active when it comes to uh, their Christmas sales and marketing. So one thing that you've got that they don't have is this sort of emotional connection with your clients and also with, with the people who follow you on social media. So, you know, ask for that support, mention it and you know, talk about how our economy needs people spending money with small family run businesses and you'll find people will start to lean in towards you and want to support you. So, yeah, I mean, look, consider how many staff you have. How many staff does your little business, you know, help pay the rent and help to put food on the table? And, and, and you know, how many family members do, those start, do the staff have? You'll probably be shocked at how many people your tiny little beauty business supports. So talk about that. Talk about that on social media because um, it will pull on heartstrings and, um, and people will want to help you out. So, yeah, the SMC team have done all the hard work for you for Christmas this year. We've created some beautiful marketing campaign sets that can help you, uh, regardless of what your objective is, sell more treatment packages, increase monetary gift vouchers. Uh, we have got a strategy and a set that has been created and tried and tested. They were all originally launched last year. We've got the data on them now. We know that these sets convert and you have nine to choose from on our website. These are just some of the visual examples of, of you know, the, the um, variety that we've made available. And 
whether or not you are predominantly skin or skin and beauty or just beauty, there is actually something there for you. We were kind of forced to put together a uh, promotion which was mainly focusing on essential beauty services last year because of the restrictions around treating skin and masks on and this and that. And, yeah, so we had to sort of react to what was going on out there in the market from a macro perspective. So for the first time ever, the SMC team put out a Christmas set that was mainly for beauty salons as opposed to skin clinics. So it is there, but it, like I said at the beginning of my presentation, skin is going to set you up for growth. So make sure that that's included in your packages. All of our packages also gives you access to an implementation guide so that you've got a step-by-step -step, like video demonstrations, how to um, load your emails into MailChimp, how to generate a Bitly link. Uh, we've got a marketing campaign timeline. We've also given you the copy for your SMS and your email subject lines uh, uh, through the uh, team spotlight sheet. And the team spotlight sheet is there for you to use as the business owner to lead your team, understand your objectives, decide on your targets, to give you tips to motivate your team to help them achieve their targets, to give you a budget so that you can afford to reward your team when they do achieve those targets and also how to keep them excited and motivated every single day over six weeks. Usually there's this you know, huge excitement at the beginning and things start to die off. Well, we've given you um, suggestions and an approach to keep your team focused on the big picture of what it is you want you need to achieve with Christmas through this document and we've had that custom written for every single one of our um, marketing campaign sets. We've got a great offer. It is limited to um, 15 Beauty industry community members or anyone watching this website and it's a 60% discount off our Christmas marketing campaign sets. They all include 15 touch points, everything that you need, three emails, poster, you've got an A6 flyer that you can print off and hand out, you've got six social media graphics, your website graphics, uh, everything that I mentioned with the implementation guide and the spotlight sheet. It's usually $990 for the set. So we've got a discount code here. You can see their um, Xmas BI60 that at checkout will give you 60% off and you'll only pay $396. It's done, copies done, artwork and designs done. The graphics have been designed in Canva. They're, you know, for easy editing, you can change the colors, you can put your own photos in there. You can use the photos that are, we've, we've added for placement because they all have extended licenses. So, um, you know, no problem with using the photos, the assets that we've, we've included in the sets and uh, they're profitable. Uh, they will help you achieve everything on the front end and the back end of the promotion that I mentioned as well. And they'll appeal to your clients. They definitely have a lot of gift appeal. And like I've said, they've all been proven to convert. This is nothing, this is not new. It is something that other salon owners just like you have actually um, used and succeeded with. The other thing that the first 15 to make a purchase will receive is free access to the SMC uh, Christmas marketing workshop on the 1st of November. It's valued at $299. So the savings here are, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, it, it's available until Tuesday, the 26th of October or until we sell out. And um, yeah, so there you go, the first 15 for that Christmas marketing workshop. Now, if you can't attend that on the 1st of November, don't worry because you'll automatically receive a recording of the workshop and you'll also get the profit per minute spreadsheet and you'll a good understanding of how to use that as well. So some of the things you'll learn during that workshop is how to prepare your team, how to set your targets, how to make sure that your gift vouchers, your packages are profitable, uh, the breakdown of, of the profit per minute spreadsheet and uh, what you learn in this workshop, you can duplicate for any promotion in 2022 and beyond. So you're going to pick up some, you know, some basic marketing skills, but also some ad more advanced marketing and business skills as well. And um, I'll, I'll have additional um, marketing and, and sales tips to help achieve targets. We've got some, some tactics that have proven to work year in, year out in SMC Insider and with our and with our clients, I'll be sharing all of that juicy stuff too during the workshop. So Monday, two weeks 
um, approximately two weeks, the 1st of November from 12 noon Sydney time. It will be on Zoom and um, I'll be sharing a registration link so that well, we'll be sending you a registration link once you've actually made your purchase uh, to to of which of the Christmas sets you'd like to go with. If you don't know how to use Canva, don't worry. We do have a service available that the SMC team can update all the designs for you. We just need your logo and a brand identity style guide. We need to know what your colours are, your fonts are, so that we can personalise the design for you. And we've got 10 spots about available for that. The entire set can be updated for you for only $295. And if you go to smcagency.com, com.au click on diy services go down to christmas marketing and then what you will get to see are all of the sets that we have and also you'll get to watch little sneak peek videos which will show you everything that's included and it will go through the objectives of the promotions and they only take two minutes to watch. So you can just take your time when you, you're going through. This is the, the page where you'll be able to access, sorry, there's 16, not 15 pieces included in each marketing campaign set. And this video explains the spotlight sheet and how you'll use the spotlight sheet and the power behind that. So you get 60% off this price and there are nine sets and those sneak peek videos that you can watch before you decide which of the nine sets you'd like to, um, to go with this year. You'll just click buy and you'll be able to put in your beauty industry 60% off discount. This is a discount we've never offered outside of SMC Insider before. We've only ever given a maximum of 50% in this type of situation. So it's, it's something that we're doing because of everything that the country's been through, salons have been through, but it is limited to 15. And um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow that that is everything that I wanted to go through today. It is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'm just, I just love so much when I see your sets, Vanessa, like I was going through them all as you're talking about them, just thinking, you know, if I had a clinic, I'd put my colors here and I put my images there of my therapist doing the treatments and I'd pop my product there. You know, it's, it, it, what I love is that you don't have to be a designer or a creative or a copywriter or, you know, any of those specialty things. I think sometimes as business owners, we go, I have to do all of the things and I have to do them really well, but you actually don't just be the business owner, be there for your team, be there for your clients, and then let the professionals do all of this stuff for you. It just, it's a no brainer. Yeah, definitely. And to be able to just literally, like if I share my screen, what we we do is once a clinic owner has selected a set, they get sent all the links for Canva. And when they click on the links, it literally opens up in their own Canva account yeah. and they can just get in there and start making whatever changes that they want to make, whatever little tweaks they want to make. But quite often what we see is the only thing they change are their package inclusions, pricing, the value of the package, their call to actions with their phone number. And the rest usually stays pretty on point with what we've created. Maybe their colours, the colours a little bit, but they're all beautiful and Christmassy looking. And uh, yeah, so, you know, you can see there, I can, I can just run my mouse here and change that headline if I want to change it. Um, I, I can put my own treatment photo in here or easily change this this uh, product here it's just effortless editing through canva but again if someone doesn't know how to use canva the smc team can also help you with that yeah totally what i really love um, the most about all of this is the fact that you kept on mentioning just increase your average client spend and let me just soak this in for some people who are kind of going well what does this actually mean so in when you look at your reports and i know for us as in the beauty industry, we're not like the most report adjacent <laughs> or the, the most report loving. I know I wasn't when I was directing spaces, but if you look at your reports and you see your average client spend, this is on average how much your client spends per hour, right? So we really want to kind of sit at that $130 on average baseline across the industry, a high performing clinic would be sitting at like 160, 180, even up to the 200, right? But if you are sitting, let's just do for the most simplest math sake, if you're sitting at $100 average client spend, you wanna increase that 
rather than doing more treatments because you can't, you physically don't have more hours in the day. If you saw 10 clients, you'd be getting $1,000. If you increase that average client spend by $20 or $50 per client by adding on a gift voucher, and chances are they're not going to buy a $20 gift voucher, are they? They're going to spend $100, $150, $200 with a gift voucher. You don't have to see more clients, but you're increasing your average client spend. You're making more money in your till. And so what I used to do when I was at the reception area, when the client was coming out, always you'd ask, how is your treatment today? How are you feeling? Your skin's looking glowing. And they would go, oh, I'm feeling incredible. My shoulders are down. My skin's gorgeous. And you would go, well, do you still have more Chrissy shopping to do? And they'd go, yeah. I'm about to walk through the shopping center and da da da. I've got to buy for mom, grandpa, blah, 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 blah. Well, why don't you gift the experience that you've just had by buying a gift voucher today? Yes. Right? It's as simple as that. It's that one liner that they have just felt so amazing. Their skin is looking gorgeous. They are so relaxed and floaty on a cloud. Why don't you gift how you're feeling? Done. Of course you're going to. So yes. instead of that client now spending $100 on her treatment, she now spends $250, right? You're not seeing any more clients, but you're getting more money in your bank and you don't have to do any of the work because all of the sets do it for you. It's just yeah. ticking all the boxes. And attracting a new client. They're buying and, a client for you. <laughs> yes, totally, totally. Yeah. Oh, it's so, so, so good. Yes. Yeah. And I love that um, people are feeling more festive this year. My husband is a Grinch. And um, I said, this year, we're, we've got a baby. We're going to buy a real Christmas tree. And he was on board for it. So oh, if I can great. get the Grinch to feel festive, <laughs> then um, I think our clients are certainly going to be spending more money on Christmas. <laughs> you certainly will. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so, so cool. So thank you so much. We've got um, beautiful Tina over there in the comments um, saying that she's going to come and see you at the workshop so um, don't forget to enter or remember rather to enter that code if you want to grab that 60% off you'd be silly not to um, it comes down to 396 rather than 990 so it's super super affordable all your Christmas planning is done and you're 10 weeks out you can go in pop it in the cart do it now spend your day working on it and then hey presto tomorrow you've got all of your Christmas campaign sorted and you're in that second category of salon owner. You know, you're feeling organized. You're feeling, you're feeling like you've got clarity and you're feeling excited instead of overwhelmed. You're not procrastinating. This is like, this is like kryptonite for procrastination. It just makes it so simple. Tamara, thanks so much for having me today. The SMC team and I have been working on, you know, creating this for the industry for about three months now, just perfecting it and just refining also what we 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 saw from last year to make these sets even better this year. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been it's definitely been a labor of love. And I would love to see you know as many salon owners as possible just kill it and get into that second category that we talked about together and and put those days of procrastination behind them and have the best Christmas ever. So thanks again for having me today. Really value it and love being a beauty industry partner. Love love love. Love. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing and thank you so much for offering such a generous discount. Um, all of the links are below so people can just click through um, and yeah, have a bumper Christmas after being closed for such a bloody long time. Yeah. So get out there and make that money and be festive. And thanks so much, Vanessa, for joining us. Pleasure.